Sometimes, a baby's hip may be loose or dislocated. This is called developmental dysplasia of the hip, or DDH. The hip is made up of a ball, your femur, and a socket, your acetabulum. They support your weight while in motion and standing still. At birth, the hip is mostly made up of flexible cartilage, which is slowly replaced by bone until adulthood. Because cartilage is less dense than bone, it doesn't show up on x-rays, which is why an x-ray of the hip looks so strange. As they grow, the head of the femur and the socket put pressure on each other, forming a close-fitting joint. But in DDH, the socket may be too shallow or dysplastic, which keeps the joint from forming normally. DDH has a range of severity from stable to dislocated. In stable DDH, the head of the femur cannot be dislocated despite the shallow socket. It affects about one in a hundred. In unstable DDH, the femur can be dislocated if pressure is applied. It affects about one in 1,000. In severe cases, the femur is dislocated. Since it is no longer putting pressure into the socket, the joint will not form correctly. If left untreated, DDH results in a limited range of motion, an abnormal gait, pain during physical activity, and possibly early arthritis. We're not sure what causes DDH, and since it is not painful at birth, it is hard to diagnose. DDH is more common in females and firstborn children, but those with a direct family history of DDH, or those born in a breech presentation, are most at risk. In newborns, your pediatrician may recommend further evaluation for these factors, or for a hip that clicks or pops. Signs are more visible after three months old, such as a shorter leg or uneven skin folds. Once walking, your child may limp, waddle, or walk on their toes on the affected side. Treatment is most effective if it is started early with long-term monitoring and care. The first and most effective option is the Pavlik harness, a soft brace that stabilizes and correctly aligns the legs while allowing them to move. This puts pressure back into the acetabulum, stimulating it to deepen. The brace is worn 24 hours a day for 12 weeks, is worn under the clothes, and allows for easy diaper changes. At the Orthopedics Institute at Children's Hospital Colorado, our team will teach you how to best wear and care for the harness. We will also monitor your child's progress with a series of ultrasounds and physical exams. The Pavlik harness is pain-free and effective for 80% of patients, depending, however, on the severity of their DDH. If treatment is unsuccessful after four weeks, we will help you explore other options, such as rigid bracing or surgical options for severe cases. To learn more, visit our website.